For as long as I can remember, I have been passionate about the power of storytelling. We only need to look back through history to see the impact stories have had on our lives, how we live them, why we live them, and what it means to be human. Although we've used stories to oppress and marginalize, it is also through stories that we build communities, amplify the voices of those unheard, and dare to imagine a better world. I've made a career out of telling other people's stories. In my work as a documentary photographer and filmmaker, I've traveled to the front lines of climate change and the refugee crisis across Europe and the Middle East. From documenting communities surviving drought in Somalia to ISIS survivors in Iraq, I've strived to tell human stories and portray those I've documented in all their power and dignity, knowing that whilst they may be victims of global forces out of their control, they are not victims themselves. What I didn't realize until I tried to sit down to write this talk is that I'm much better at telling other people's stories than my own. The truth is, I think I've always struggled to tell my own story. I've questioned my validity as a storyteller and lacked the confidence to wholeheartedly claim the title of photojournalist and filmmaker. In comparison to the importance, urgency, depth, and often trauma of those stories I've documented, I've doubted that mine should really take up any space at all. I've been so focused on being a vehicle for other stories, I ultimately lost focus on my own. That became particularly painfully clear to me this year. 2020, the year that collectively challenged us in ways we never could have imagined. When everything I cling to for proof of my worth as a storyteller, my ability to travel, take pictures, film, tell other people's stories, when that was stripped away from me and I was suddenly forced into the excruciating stillness of isolation, I doubted myself more than ever before. It was made even harder by the fact that this was a year of converging crises. A devastating pandemic, profound revolt against racial injustice and the worsening climate crisis, all revealing the extent of our broken system. We collectively became explicitly aware of both the fragility of our planet and the systems that govern us. I felt paralysed. I couldn't do my usual work, what I thought made me a storyteller, to pick up my camera and travel to where the stories unfolded. Instead, I was forced to put down my gear and turn inward, something I had always kept myself busy enough not to do. I started to do a different kind of work, the kind of work I couldn't publish or post to Instagram, but nonetheless crucial work for my creativity and happiness, work on myself. I had to ask, what is my worth as a storyteller? Is there any value in my presence behind camera? Will it really make a difference anyway? From isolation, I was forced to find new ways to tell stories. I started an online platform communicating the climate crisis called Earthrise and built an online community of 100,000 people equally concerned for the future of our planet. I used it as a new tool to convey human stories of communities most impacted by climate change, women, indigenous people, people of color. It was only when my ability to tell other people's stories was taken away from me because of the pandemic that I truly came to learn my value as a storyteller. That I'm not defined by holding a camera or traveling days to find subjects, but instead defined by my values, my empathy and dedication, and those are qualities that matter. That my ability to be a good storyteller is also defined by my ability to listen and to choose not to tell certain stories. It was only when everything I thought I needed to find validation in myself was taken away that more than ever I've reconnected with my passion for what I do and ultimately found conviction in who I am. This year of doubt and uncertainty has reminded me just how deeply I care. So now I know that when I travel again, meet the people whose stories I care about the most, I'll be able to stand my own ground to hold space for them better than ever before. My mantra is don't let doubt define you. In finding new ways to tell stories, in knowing and in believing in myself, I've learned I can wholeheartedly own my title of storyteller and in turn be a better one too. Thank you.